Well, hello, everybody, and welcome to this new year and this new edition for News You Can Use here at LaSalle TV. I'm your host, Thera Martin, thanking God for another opportunity to come back to LaSalle and be a part of the programming here. And, of course, to uh, say thank you in advance of this show, even officially starting to Tanya Ellis, Professor Tanya Ellis, for allowing me to have one more dance with LaSalle TV. Today on the program, we are going to shine a spotlight on the Progressive National Baptist Convention, and we're going to be introducing you to the Philadelphia Host Committee chairman and a couple of the key players that can tell you some about what the Progressive National Baptist Convention is all about. So we want you to stay along for the ride. We'll be back in just a moment. Hello, everybody. Welcome to a new edition for News You Can Use for a New Year. I'm Thera Martin, and we're starting our first show in the month of February, African American History Month. So let's take this show as an African American history lesson about the Progressive National Baptist Convention. Sitting by my side, I have none other than Reverend Dr. James Hall, the pastor of the Triumph Baptist Church, the chairman of the host committee for the Progressive National Baptist Convention 2018. We welcome you, sir. Delight to be here and I, thank you I'm so much. I'm honored. I'm honored to have you. And sitting by your side, Pastor, we have Mrs. Elizabeth Bell and a part of the Progressive National um, Baptist Convention and you are with the Foreign Mission? I was and okay. I'm with the Women's Department now. And we're going to yes. hear all yes. about that. So we're delighted that both of you are here and later on in the program when we turn the page we've got another gentleman who's going to come up and talk about a fabulous gospel concert fundraiser for uh, the Progressive National Baptist Convention coming in the summer of 2018, August to be exact, and he'll tell us about that gospel concert fundraiser in our next segment. But right now, let's start by just talking a little bit about Triumph Baptist Church because that's an important part of the story as we lead to the trust that the national um, president has in, put in your hands to lead the Philadelphia Host Committee to help make this event a big success in 2018. Well, I'm, ex I'm excited always when someone wants to know about Triumph because <laughs> the Triumph Baptist Church is now 48 years old, right. will be 49 in November of next year. I am the, I hate to use the word founder, but the organizer, because Christ is the founder of the church, yes. the organizer of the church. Mm -hmm. We started with 63 members. We have now in the neighborhood of 4,000 members. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are located at 6th Germantown and Hunting Park Avenue. Mm -hmm. We were at 16th and Wingo, Wingo Hawking, Hawking yes. right? Yes. And then that building became oh, too small for us, so we outgrew it. Mm -hmm. And so now we're in a larger, um, venue at Germantown and Hunting Park. But I'll tell you for our viewing audience just how great this pastor is, Reverend Dr. James S. Hall, that the city found it not robbery to rename a portion of Hunting Park Avenue right. to Reverend Dr. James Hall Way. And I am honored and delighted and I was, was surprised. there that day. Yeah. Oh, you were surprised. We got you good that day. The, really the look that came over your face when you realized that was going down. I love it. I love it. Yeah. And I want people to know, um, because Dr. Hall is so humble, such a humble pastor, preacher, teacher, mm -hmm. he wouldn't tell you that, but I wanted to add that in there. I appreciate so, that. Yes, sir. Triumph is 48 years old yes. and getting ready to celebrate another year um, next November. Mm -hmm. um, but so you are under the auspices as are many other churches in the Philadelphia region of the uh, Progressive National Baptist Convention? Right, we have 30 churches um, uh, that belong to the National, the Progressive Convention mm -hmm. in the Philadelphia area, yes. uh, we say Philadelphia and vicinity. Mm -hmm. And um, we have others in South Jersey, New York, Delaware. In fact, we are in what you call the Eastern region of the Progressive National Baptist Convention. Yes. The convention has not met in Philadelphia in, I would imagine, about 55, 56 years. Yes. It's a, Philadelphia is a part of its origin. Um, the strength of the convention is the mission ministry, foreign mission ministry. And uh, Mrs. Bell, who's with us, husband, was over the foreign, he was the executive secretary of the foreign mission ministry of the Progressive Convention. And, um, and we are delighted now that Dr. Perkins, Dr. James C. Perkins of Detroit, is the president and he chose 
to come to Philadelphia. In fact, we did not really invite it. Mm -hmm. They just told me that I yes. was going to be host pastor. Okay. And they told me that Triumph Church would be the host church. And we accepted. And we're excited about them coming to well, us now. We, we know that when people <laughs> um, uh, select you or single you out to lead, mm -hmm. that means that they know that you're their program is going to be in good hands, that they can trust you to get the job done. And so I know it's more responsibility on you, more <laughs> weight on your shoulders for yes. a, a pastor that's already doing so, so very much. Yes. But we know you can lead because I've seen your bio. Well, and I I've seen all that. the organizations <laughs> where you've been the president of, the chairman of, and yes. so on and so forth. So we know that they picked the right one for the task. Well, I appreciate you saying that. And I'm delighted that they did choose me, but I was comfortable because we have some strong pastors yes. here. Yes. You know, we have the Love Baptist Church. My son mm -hmm. is the pastor. That's the okay. church that Mrs. Bell's husband uh, was the founder of. We have Holy, Holy, Holy Cross. It's one of our churches. It's thankful. Mm -hmm. It's one of our churches. Um, uh, Philippian is one of our churches. And in South Jersey, you have um, Nazarene, First Nazarene, mm -hmm. one of our churches. We have churches down, many other churches in this yes. area. And so when they asked me to come to host the convention, I readily accepted because I had the feeling that I could depend on, yes. and now I know I can depend on them because they have really ministers like Reverend Marshall at North Penn mm -hmm. and others, even even some of the churches in this city that does not do not belong mm -hmm. to um, the Progressive Convention, yes, stepping up. National Baptist Convention. No, they've stepped up mm -hmm. and they've volunteered oh, to help, good, good, and um, good, good. I'm just excited about that. Mm -hmm. The Reverend Campbell, who has been the acting pastor of Zion, has been yes. very supportive. Dr. William J. Shaw, who mm -hmm was the president of the National Baptist yes. Convention, our yes. oldest and largest convention, has offered to be of mm -hmm. service to us. Mm -hmm. Reverend Barnes of um, the, um, the um, Minister's Conference mm -hmm. and meets every Monday, mm -hmm. and many of them. Okay. And as you know, the mission, as I stated, the mission, Foreign Mission Board was the basis, the strength of our convention okay. because we believe in mission, okay. foreign and... That's what I was going to ask yes, you. Yeah. The Progressive National Baptist Convention, what, what was its purpose when it was founded so many years ago? What was, what was the goal of the Progressive National Baptist well, Convention? Well, our major goal was is in the area of civil rights. Mm -hmm. When this convention was organized, um, Dr. King was at his high peak in leading the civil rights movement in, the, in, the, in this country. Mm -hmm. And for some reason, he was not accepted so too warmly in the uh, convention that, that he was a member of. Yes. And um, the Progressive Convention was organized to give support mm -hmm. to the civil rights movement yes. and to foreign mission. Excellent. And Dr. King just claimed it as his. And because of that, we supported the civil rights movement stronger than any other Baptist yes. convention. We have three major Baptist con national conventions mm -hmm. in America, black. Okay, now I know that the uh, <laughs> national office has given you um, a full support to, to to work this from the Philadelphia angle, uh, but of course we recognize that you're working hand in hand with Dr. Perkins, the national president. Right. Can we give out the Philadelphia number and if people want more information about what Progressive National Baptist is doing, they are coming to Philadelphia this summer of 2018 in August. Want right. to give the dates? Right. In August, it's the first two weeks in August and it's Triumph Baptist Church is the host church. The number is 215-228-8000. And um, we want you to know that number, and we also want you to know that the first weekend, the, the first, what is the date of a concert? Um, the 2nd of March. Yes. 2nd of March. Yes. The concert is going there, and yeah. you can get tickets yeah. and information yeah. All for right. our concert. And we'll talk more about the concert in the next segment. Okay. But for Miss, <laughs> El Mrs. Elizabeth Bell, uh, the women's arm of the Progressive National Baptist Convention, yes. tell us a little bit about what they do. The women's arm, uh, the women's department is headed by at this time, a woman named Alberta Bean, and she lives in Oklahoma City. Mm -hmm. And she's marvelous, and she's very enthused mm -hmm. about all activities for women. And we're, we're talking about women being included. Uh, we see what's happening in society and in our world today. And Progressive National Baptist Convention includes women in basically all facets of convention work. The uh, women's department is just a year younger than the overall convention. And when uh, the convention goes to any city, the women's department always gets the name or the names of certain charitable organizations that we can leave money 
with. We go there to visit. We go to feed whatever is the need when we are in a city, we're prepared to do it. And that just gives you a good feeling de deep down. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I, I can feel the spirit and the energy that you get from doing the work that you do. Yes. Um, so now for the summer of 2018, I imagine that the women are, are working already, planning, meeting, strategizing, even if it's conference call meetings, they're yes. getting it done to yes. prepare for 20, the August of 2018. Yes, we are, mm -hmm. and we are doing just that. Meeting, conference calling, notes, uh, texting, whatever we need to do so that we can all be on the same page, mm -hmm. moving in the same direction, hopefully at the same time. Okay. Now, as history goes, has the Progressive National Baptist Convention ever been in Philly before? Yes. Yes. Ah, um, okay. Actually, in a sense, Philadelphia is its pl place where it was founded, in mm -hmm. a real sense. Mm -hmm. Now, it was organized under Dr. Venture Booth, and um, I think the first organization of it um, was in Cincinnati with Dr. Booth pastored. But it was in Philadelphia where a decision was made that there would be mm -hmm. a progressive National Baptist Convention wow. and that the emphasis on that convention would be in, on missions mm -hmm. and on civil rights. Mm -hmm. The other convention was not putting much emphasis on, on civil rights. They were on mission, yeah. Yeah. but not on civil rights. And okay. at that time, that was the current issue that mm. blacks and that, that, that blacks um, should, be, should have been involved in. You know, Dr. King was out on the line. Many other pastors of the convention were out literally sacrificing themselves and their lives mm -hmm. for the civil rights movement. And we did not get the kind of movement and leadership that should have been given mm -hmm. to that movement. Wow. Yeah. Well, we're excited with the fact that the Progressive National Baptist Convention is coming back to Philadelphia after right. all these years, That's the right. summer of 2018. And if people want to know more about it now and plug in now, right. yes, you can go to the National Progressive uh, Baptist Convention website, or if you want to just be local, you can call uh, the Triumph Baptist Church. It right. is the host committee um, home base. Right. Uh, and, and sitting next to me is the chairman of the host committee, <laughs> Reverend Dr. James uh, and, and we are just so glad to have Reverend Dr. James Allen, uh, Allen Hall with us today. <laughs> and uh, we're excited because we're coming to the next segment. We're going to turn the page. You're staying here on the set. We will do a switch on this side uh, and, and bring another individual up to really paint a picture for us uh, about this concert coming up Good on forward. Friday. It's going to be Friday, March the 2nd, Second, right? right? Okay, right. I got that right. Uh, at final Triumph thought, Church. At Triumph Baptist Church. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Real quick, a final thought that you would leave with the audience for now. Fabulous. Come to the concert. Come to the convention. There will be things there that you will really enjoy. Yeah. Okay. I think that's great. I think that's great. All righty. They're giving me the signal. I've got to wrap up this segment. We'll come back. Reverend Dr. James Hall will stay with us, and we will hear from another young gentleman who's going to paint a picture again, like I said, about this concert coming on March the 2nd to Triumph Baptist Church. Stay with us. This is Kevin, and Kevin could use some kindness. Here's Ian. He could be that man. Ian chooses to be inconsiderate and not hold the door for Kevin, and in turn, Kevin suffers.
Kindness may be a choice, but doing so is always the right one. So if Ian can make the right choice, you can too. Hello everybody, we are back as we continue with this new edition of News You Can Use here at LaSalle TV. I'm the host, Thera Martin. I'm glad to be back with you. And on this show today, we were really dedicating the bulk of the show to shine the spotlight on a wonderful organization called the Progressive National Baptist Convention. And sitting by my side is Reverend Dr. James Hall. He's the pastor of Triumph Baptist Church, and he is the host, um, the local host chair for the Progressive National Baptist Convention. And now we also have joining us Mr. Charles Lundy, who is the Minister of Music at Triumph Baptist Church, and you are helping to steer this big concert that we're getting ready to do at Triumph on Friday, March the 2nd. Welcome. Uh, welcome, thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, so we're excited about having you help to tell this story and to encourage people to come out, because um, anybody who knows anything about planning a big event, and we're expecting like, what about? 8,000 8, 8, yeah. to 10,000 yeah. conferees coming into Philadelphia for Progressive National Baptist Convention that first week in August. And um, when you're planning an event that size, it takes all kind of work, it takes a lot of time, and you got to start early, and you also have to raise money to, to get things done. And so we've got this wonderful gospel concert that's been put together. Tell us about it. Well, this concert is, uh, as we call it a like pre-concert, is a concert, is a fundraiser uh, to help us uh, to you know extend any type of funds that we need to do because we are the host church mm -hmm. uh, so this concert is anticipating a lot of guests. Mm -hmm. uh, the main guest that we're having is Anthony Brown and Group Therapy, uh, Lonnie Hunter and Structure. Uh, we also have a newly added guest, uh, Judy Peterson. She's from uh, Tyler Perry Plays. Mm -hmm. um, we also have, uh, we have we call him the Mr. Mailman that's emceeing the, the program, mm -hmm. uh, Minister Morgan. Uh, we also have some local guests that'll be, that'll be here, which is Fort Memorial, uh, uh, choir. Yes, uh, we also have yes. Wilmington Chester. Ford Mass is choir. right across the street right from Right across Triumph, the street. Right? Yep, yes. they're our friends right yes, across the street. Yes. Yep. Andrew Ford, Bishop. Yep. Bishop. Yes. Yes. yes, yes. So we're looking for a great time, a great turnout, um, and just we're, we're just looking to put on something just really big because this is actually the first big major gospel concert of the year. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we're, we're looking, excited. we're and yeah, yeah, very excited and anticipating so much from it. Um, and so now, um, I know that there's going to be these gospel stars, um, national names, as well as some locals that will be there. Um, now, there's a praise dance group that's coming uh, from New Jersey, I think from Reverend Evans Church. Yes, Reverend Evans uh, Praise Dance Ministry, they mm -hmm. are coming down. Well, praise they God. And I, I've heard they are wonderful, and, and, and they're going to stun the audience in, in how they do their presentation as well. Yes. Any spoken word? Um, we do have a we do have a spoken word artist. He's from um, I believe he's from uh, Sharon Baptist mm -hmm. Church. That'll uh -huh. be there. Uh, we also have um, Goldwire McClendon. Uh, he's a local soloist, but he was also on um, Sunday's Best. Mm -hmm. uh, he was one of the runner-ups. Okay. Uh, so we we have we have all acts of different genres and different age groups. So. Yeah all can enjoy yeah. so it's not particularly pertaining just to one uh particular group of of of, of audience yeah. so looking to have a great awesome time. well we'll be coming just out of african-american history month as we mm -hmm. come toward um friday march the 2nd with this progressive national baptist convention philadelphia host committee gospel concert and yes. show it's going to be fabulous it's going to be where again it's going to be at Triumph Baptist Church, yes. located at Germantown and Huntington. With seating Park. for 5,000. Yes. <laughs> yes. Almost, right? Right. Yeah. Almost. yeah. So, yeah. Um, comfortable seating. Yes. And there isn't a bad seat in the sanctuary. Every seat, the way uh, Dr. Hall had his architects build that sanctuary, there isn't a bad seat in that sanctuary. Exactly. You could be at the very front, you could be at the very top, and you're going to see, you're going to hear. Plus, you all have the jumbo screens on both sides of the sanctuary, and it's going to be popping. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. The theme for our convention this year is where do we go from here, chaos or community? Mm. 
And mm. I think Dr. Perkins chose that theme because of the atmosphere yes. that we have in our country today. And as I s stated earlier, the convention was founded on the whole ma matter of civil rights. Mm -hmm. And he has maintained and has pushed the whole concept of black people particularly, but minorities mm -hmm. being treated as citizens. And what's significant about it is the atmosphere that we're going through now with, with what we are confronted with sure. politically and economically, yes. this is very appropriate, mm -hmm. you know, and after the Obama era, when we really were hopeful and optimistic about things, and then immediately following that, we have problems mm -hmm. that we not, do not need to discuss, yes. but problems that black people and minority people are seeming victimized mm -hmm. by. Mm -hmm. So we need to be aware of the fact that we are going to move forward in trying to make all citizens, all persons, citizens, and all of us enjoying the fruits of democracy. Yes. And I think it's significant that we yes. keep that in mind. Um, the, most of the meetings, um, well, the, the, the Sunday meeting on, um, in August will be at Triumph Church. Okay, but hold that thought for one second, okay. Pastor. For, for the, those who are viewing uh, this program right now, real quick, if you've never been to a convention before uh, for a religious organization, if you've never been to the Progressive National Baptist Convention before, uh, Dr. Hall is explaining just a little bit to give you a taste of what it would be like for you to come. And people are welcome. You don't have to be a member no, of Progressive not National not Baptist Convention to come. We just be a believer, be right? Believer, and, and if you're not a believer, we have evangelistic for us, too. Okay. And we, we You'll be saved before you leave. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> but the, most of the meetings mm -hmm. will be downtown in the Marriott Hotel, right across from the convention center. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And um, on Sunday, the convention will commence at Triumph Church. The president of the convention will be preaching, but the rest of the week, the activities will be in Center City. Okay, yeah. okay. And there will be some sessions that will be like a, a seminar kind of a thing. There will be guest speakers up front talking about civil rights. Oh, yes, yeah. civil rights, like economic mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. Um, empowerment, okay. all of those areas. So it's not just about okay. praying, which is no, so no, important, no. but it's not just about the prayers and the evangelists. And the men's department of the convention will go out on the street and witness and will be talking mm -hmm. to people about getting being mm -hmm. saved and mm -hmm. working with people who are homeless yes. and trying to give hope to persons yes. who are uh, caught with the act of just incarcerated, yes. can be incarcerated yes. for no reason. It's, it, it's, we, what, it's a holistic approach. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're talking about being saved. We talk about giving our testimony because yes. we are saved, but we want to also tell people how they can live a better life. And it is important what the president has presented yes. to us. And this year is going to be different. It's going to be different because this year, is election year. Mm -hmm. Dr. Kurt, Dr. Um, Perkins. Kurt Perkins will be going out as president, and we will be electing a new president. It is believed that um, maybe, I'm not sure, but uh, Dr. Stewart from Nassau is first vice president. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we're going to be, be excited about the election. Yes. And we're going to have people from, from the islands, people from Africa, people mm -hmm. from all over coming into this convention Coming this for year. Progressive yeah. National Baptist That's Convention. Right. Yeah. All right, folks, there you have it. If you want to know more mm -hmm. about the Progressive National Baptist Convention, some of their plans, what they're going to be doing mm -hmm. here in the city of Philadelphia in August 2018, that first week, that first yeah. week, then you um, can call the church at 215-228-8000. Okay. Yeah, 215-228-8000. And the phone number is also on our screen right now, so jot that down if you want to know more. Triumph Baptist Church. Mm -hmm. And don't forget, on Friday, March the 2nd. We have our pre-concert. I'm looking for everybody to be there. <laughs> everybody. <laughs> yes, sir. Okay. Say those names real uh, quick again. The names of the stars that are going to be there on stage. Anthony Brown and Group Therapy, which is our main, our main star. We have mm -hmm. Lonnie Hunter and Structure. Uh, we have uh, Dr. Morgan, which will be our MC. We have Fort Memorial uh, Mass Choir. We have Judy Peterson from the Tyler Perry Plays. And we also have Wilmington Chester Mass mm, Choir mm. Uh, that will be there. Woo -woo. Uh, we have a dance ministry yes. um, from, from Jersey, Bethany, from Bethany Baptist, Baptist, Baptist Church. Church. And we also have a spoken word. And we have Goldwater McClendon, which was 
a um, a Sunday's best runner up. Mm -mm, so mm -mm, looking mm -mm. for a great time. It's going to be popping and happening at the Triumph Baptist <laughs> Church as they raise money for Progressive National Baptist Convention. I want to thank you both so much for being here with me today. Oh, really thank appreciate you for it. Having you. All right, we'll be giving updates as we go on through our taping for this season. And now, as we close out on the program today, I wanted to do two things real quick. Number one, congratulations to our Philadelphia Eagles. Uh, we're very proud of you for being Super Bowl champion 52. Go, go, Eagles. Now, on the sadder note, um, we lost one of our own from LaSalle University approximately a week and a half ago. Uh, he happened to be related to me by marriage, Rasul Butler, who was a star basketball player here at LaSalle. He and his wife both passed away in a terrible car accident out in California, and um, it was devastating to everybody because you don't see things like that coming. Uh, Rasul Butler is a native of South Philadelphia. He grew up, was raised in Philadelphia, went to Catholic school here, and then on to to Catholic College here at LaSalle. He was largely raised by his um, grandfather, Uncle Bobby, and by his grandmother, Carol Hawkins. And uh, so condolences to them and to all of the family and to everybody who loved Rasul Butler. Um, LaSalle University did a beautiful tribute uh, in the school um, gymnasium. Uh, that was on yesterday, which would have been on February the 11th. It was beautiful. And we thank, on behalf of the family, I want to thank LaSalle for what you did in memory of Rasul Butler um, on yesterday. Day. And um, he played for the Indiana Pacers. He played for the Washington Wizards. Um, he played for the Miami Heat. He played for a couple of other star NBA basketball teams during his time. And we just um, we want to remember him and all the good things that he did. He made a difference. He never forgot from whence he came. And we're just sending some prayers up today in memory of Rasul Butler and his wife, who both lost their lives about a week and a half ago. And again, thank you, LaSalle, for giving him such a wonderful tribute. That wraps it up for this edition of News You Can Use. And I thank my guest again for being here to represent on behalf of the Progressive National Baptist Convention. Have a great day, everybody. Remember, life is fragile. Handle it with prayer.